Hi, this YouTube channel is about things that are not in the manual, and that thing is definitely not in the manual. That is an SU needle height sensor. So I'm going to reach in here and lift up. And this measures angle, the change in the angle through an Arduino that data logs onto that chip. Now, why am I doing this is because I've got one inch and a half carbs on a 1296 engine, and I'm not convinced that the needles are right. So I've got a needle height sensor that'll tell me how big, how how high the needle is, what stage of the needle the needle is at, and then I've also installed an air fuel gauge. If you can see it there, a little dark, sorry. Um, and I've been having trouble with it. Uh, I thought it was engine vibration and so on, but I think I found a solution, and uh, we'll look at that. So, hey, uh, it takes me a little bit of time to do these videos. If you enjoy these, uh, please uh, subscribe and like them. Comment, tell me your suggestions and ideas. It encourages me to take the time to do the videos, and I learn from you too. So, uh, so we're going to look at some old video of what the problem was and then how I think I might have solved it. Okay, without the engine running, we can see, I'm going to go in here, I'm going to lift this and move it like this. Without the engine running, we can see that it works just fine. The problem is the vibration. It's 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 the vibration here, and in here. And I've tried damping it a variety of ways, with uh, with a little bit of uh, rubber, that kind of thing. And, and I don't think I'm going to get it under control. So I'm going to have to I'm going to ditch this design, and go to another design. So I haven't quite yet given up on the needle sensor on the original board that I did with the. Uh, with the angle sensor. I had I have bought a bunch of these. Uh, these are a bunch of uh, line following uh, sensors and I thought I could I could use those and they're, they're fairly cheap and it would just be light and they'd be foolproof to the vibration. Uh, but I got thinking after they came um, I got thinking about it and I never did put a filter in it. See this uh, exponential filter? It puts a filter in uh, on the data so we can filter out maybe some of the noise from the sensor. Uh, excuse the motorcycle as it goes by. Well, I wrote that into the code and uh, let's see what happened. So the next step is I'm not sure uh, I messed with the data with the filter. So I'm not sure that the height that, that the actual height of the needle is now not compromised based on the um, the filter I put in there. So now next test is I'm going to have to actually test the height of it against the data that I'm getting. So that should be fun. Anyway, um, if you're following this, I hope this is fun for you. It's been a lot of fun for me. Um, again, uh, subscribe to the channel or, or comment if you have suggestions. Uh, love to hear from you. Uh, talk to you next time.